So you think you're ready for all this or what? I, I think I'm about as ready as I'm ever gonna be. In Barnstead, New Hampshire, Lieutenant Bill Boudreau takes Conservation Officer Eric Fluette to select his first canine partner. Been kind of looking forward to it over the last couple months. It's definitely fun. It's a lot, though. I'm pretty excited to have the opportunity uh, to be a canine handler with the department. Something certainly that I've had interest in after seeing our canines working. The ability to have a dog in my life, both at home and work, and utilize it in uh, casework is, is going to be huge. How old's Ruby now, though? Like six and a half. OK. Yeah. What do you think would be a good test? So one was you flip them over on their belly and just hold them there, kind of yep. pinned on their back. And if they really struggle and go nuts, then that's one you probably don't want. OK. There was another one where we'll take some pieces of paper and crump them up in a little ball. Oh, yeah, and you get the dog all excited and be here, puppy, 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 puppy. And then just flick it out a little bit. OK. There they are, buddy. Holy smokes, look at them. <laughs> that is a gaggle of dogs nuts. right there. Rise and Shine Retrievers is a breeder in Barnstead, New Hampshire. This is the second dog that they've donated to the department. Our whole canine program is run off of donations. Hi. See you guys. So oh, yes, yeah. Right. Holy you got eight smokes. Girls to choose from. Awesome, awesome. Well, I've got uh, no experience with canine work. This will be my first dog. So we're going to try to put them to the test and, and hopefully narrow them down, because right now, I'd like to take all of them home. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. What do we got here, huh? <laughs> what you think? She's pretty mellow. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try these a favor thing. Yeah. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh. Ooh. Come here, come on, come on. Keep calling it. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Here, the red girl. I think that's her, yeah, right there. This one's pretty determined. Bring it here, honey. Bring it here. Bring it here. <laughs> hey. Hi. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I'll show you some other ones as well. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so we've got a, a mixture of oh. tests. Some are just trying to show if a dog's super dominant. Good girl. Some just to see the curiosity factor, the scare factor on the dog. If the dog takes off and runs away, doesn't come back to investigate stuff. I would say the first two has definitely stood out. If you've got two that are all things considered equal, take the one you like to look for. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? You the one? It's a tough choice, you know. It's a, it's a partner he's going to have for the next 10 plus years. So I think he's nervous about making the right choice, but I'm sure he will in the end. I think I got to go with the gut on her. I, I, I think I got to go to the red. What do you think of Moxie? I love it. Is that uh, a little little different? Well, we'll get her loaded up and get Mosey on our way, so. Hi, sweetie. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. We appreciate it. All right. What do you think? See your new home? The thanks, guys. All right. Super excited to have picked out a dog. Uh, this is certainly the highlight of my career so far. Anxious for what's to come, you know, the, the training aspect. I want to do the best I can do with it and hopefully dive right into this so I can be an asset uh, in my district for other officers and myself. New work partner. Ready to go. Hi, Moxie. In Groveton, New Hampshire, Conservation Officer Glenn Lucas questions two ATV riders suspected of riding on a closed trail. So just wanted to catch up. I appreciate you guys being chill. You guys got some attention. <laughs> like come place you went. Biggest thing. The, the, Go ahead, I'll let I'm you talk. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm ready. I know I went in wrong on the on the on the snowmobile trail. Yeah. Okay. We came in for a winter break. Oh yes. I asked. Over yeah, February, January, right? February. Yeah. We came to that spot over there. Yep. I had never gone there. Okay. So I said, um, can we come in here in the summer? And yep. For what I was told, we could. Right. So we came straight here, went yep. over there. As soon as I came in with the first machine, I said, nah, nah, 
This yeah. doesn't seem right. There's no sign. You guys yeah. usually have the orange sign right. everywhere. Yeah. And this is why it's it's a lot of education, because that was open this winter. That road that you rode was legal, and that snowmobile trail you took was legal even on these in the winter. Yeah, yeah, we were riding with And them. then it changes. So my biggest thing is just pay a little more attention to detail. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. So, no, we, we don't want to ruin it for us. No. And, you know, yeah, I appreciate it. For other it. people, too. You know? Yep. Because next thing you know, then we can't ride. Right. And another thing is, you know, we got over $200,000 no. oh, in the machines yeah. here. We're not yeah. here to ruin it. The last thing I'm going to do is get kicked out of here. Right. We're yeah. going to ride. Yeah. So, this is what I'm thinking. I'm not going to give you a ticket. What I'll do is I'll enter a warning for you guys for riding on the closed road. It just says that I talked to you. And the reason I need to do that is. Because really, you were in the wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think education is key, but uh, now I can tell the people that complained, I can say, hey, I talked to them, I addressed the issue with a piece of paper. Yeah. Is that cool with you guys? Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, technically, I could write everyone a ticket. I really don't want to do that, especially for you guys that are super chill. Um, and I think that at the end of the day, you learned a little and I learned a little, and, <laughs> and we'll move on. Okay? Oh, cool. All right, guys. Pleasure to meet you. Right, Enjoy the North Country. Thanks for coming up. It worked out really well in the end. He, they knew they were in the wrong. He apologized, really did all the right things, um, you know, to correct the situation just shy of not doing it in the first place. So I do hope they come back and enjoy our trails because they really do enjoy coming up here.